Hello and welcome back to the David67 Celtic News YouTube channel. Today's video is just going to be a wee quick roundup of all the transfer ins and outs, rumours and stories and news that have cropped up over the last 24 hours or so. Um, probably more news and rumours about players leaving the club rather than players joining the club. Um, but we'll start off with those potentially joining the club. But before we get on with that, please just... If you are new to the channel, new to these videos, please do consider clicking that subscribe button. Keep the numbers pushing nearer and nearer 800, which would be a wonderful reward for the end of August uh, and the end of the transfer window. Um, if you do like the video, please do click that button. It does help the channel with analytics and YouTube sending the videos and the channel's out videos to more and more fans and Celtic fans. And finally, as always, do feel free to pop your comments into the comment section regards to this video, the transfer rumours and stories, and any other Celtic news and stories you want to discuss. So as I said, um, some positive news potentially with regards to the loan deal for Hugo Bueno. Apparently, he is very, very keen to get first team football and is very keen to try himself at the highest level, i.e. Champions League, and so apparently is very keen to leave Wolves and Wolves are now apparently considering the bid in a quite positive way and they are making plans to potentially leave, let Hugo Bueno leave the club on loan. At this point, not certain whether that's going to be a loan to buy or a simple loan. Um, I would guess that Wills would want to keep Bueno as their left back in the long term future. And so I would be surprised if they do add in a buy clause to go with the loan. There is some uncertainty over Wills' first choice at left back, which is apparently being resolved over the next day or two. And so I expect that. Potentially, if the Bueno deal is going to go ahead, it might start to really get a pace at the end of the week. Some news regarding Adam Ida. Um, he was late to join the Norwich pre-season game in Germany, uh, but has now joined up the Norwich squad. Apparently, he had a minor injury and so was remaining at home for an extra day or treatment and but now has joined um, Norwich in Hoffenheim for a friendly and um, also it emerged today that as well as Celtic being very keen to sign Ida for this season coming also Verona and Fiorentina in Serie A are also looking to sign Ida on a deal and so we may meet some competition although I guess Ida's preference would be to come to Celtic um, on a long-term long contract as he does appear to have lots of friends at Celtic and a love of the club as well. And finally, in terms of any other incoming transfers, no further news on any deal for Mikon Ange Balakwisha or Tommy Conway at Bristol City, although the Bristol City manager was suggesting there have been what he calls bits and bobs of interest in um, Conway and it is thought that Bristol City are keen to sell him for a good fee in this transfer window as with Conway's contract running down over the next 10-11 uh, months any transfer fee that they get in winter window would be much smaller and the potential that it would just be the compensation fee of a few hundred thousand Pounds. Now, moving on to the potential deals of players leaving the club. Rather surprisingly, it looks like Leicester are keen to put in a big money bid for Rio Hattati. Rio Hattati has in the past talked about his desire to move on to a higher level of league. And so not sure whether he'd be considering going to 
Leicester, a likely promotion, um, sorry, a likely relegation, fighting club. Um, uh, so many teams at the moment, yo-yo between the bottom of the Premier League and the top of the Championship. So not sure whether Hatati would consider moving to Leicester and moving to the English Premier League as being better than staying at Celtic, winning some more cups and medals and playing again in Champions League, and then maybe revisiting a move to a bigger, richer league uh, next season. We'll obviously keep you up to date with that one. Still lots of speculation regarding Matt O'Reilly leaving the club. Atalanta have put in three low ball bids, way below Celtic's asking price. And Southampton apparently have also put in two low ball bids, well below um, Celtic's asking price. Uh, Liverpool are said to be lining up a bid for O'Reilly, although I'm a wee bit sceptical regarding that. So I'm not sure he would fit really into Liverpool's currently of playing midfield, although maybe that's going to change with Slot taking over from Klopp this season at Liverpool. Interestingly, Juventus have emerged as a potential target for Mar Matt O'Reilly. It would appear that Juventus have been very keen to sign a player from Atalanta called Coop Miner, but Atalanta are playing hard to get with selling Coop Miner to Juventus. And so now um, Juventus are looking to potentially take Matt O'Reilly. And so um, Atalanta seem now in response to that to be getting serious and considering putting in a proper big bid for O'Reilly instead. Another player that may well be on his way out from the club is Gustav Lagerbielka. Um, there are apparently a strong interest from both Verona and Parma in Serie A and in the winter window Lecce were very very close to signing Lagerbielka on loan. It's thought that Lagerbielka is happy at Celtic but wants to play first team football and it would appear that Brendan Rodgers has him down around number five in the centre-back rankings, even though statistically uh, Lagbielka would be at number two in the rankings if you look at um, all the various um, defensive ranking points that usually are used to grade your, your centre-backs. However, Rodgers, for one reason or another, isn't keen on Lagbielka, and so it may be Lagbielka does leave the club in the next a couple of weeks to start his new career in Serie A and if he does leave I think we've lost a very good centre-back who could turn into a great centre-back although I'm not in the majority amongst Celtic fans with that opinion. Another centre-back that may well be leaving Celtic in the next week or two is Stephen Welsh, Mechelen in the Belgian Pro League, Top League are, are said to be making a loan bid for Welsh rather than a buying bid for Welsh. Suspect, given that Rogers sees Welsh as his number three, ahead of Lagabielka and ahead of Nuroki, I would be surprised if um, Rogers does le let Welsh leave to go to Mechelen, especially as Welsh qualifies as homegrown and Scottish for the UEFA quotas. However, it does appear Mechelen are keen to get Welsh for at least one season. Um, no other um, rumours, stories, etc. out there. And so we will leave today's video at that point there. Obviously, over the next few days, I'll update as best I can if any of these various ins and outs turn uh, into more concrete, definite deals. And also through the week, we'll be starting to do a preview of Sunday's game against Kilmarnock and maybe also a wee bit of a squad review, just looking to see how strong we are going into the next season and also um, if there are any gaps in the squad that we need to fill to ensure domestic dominance and possibly more importantly, what are the gaps we need to address to um, make a better effort in getting through the Champions League first stage into the knockout stage 
for the first time in absolutely ages. So just a quick, quick reminder, just to consider those subscribe, like and comment options. And so for today, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Goodbye and hail, hail.